Hi everyone. Um, I am jumping on a little bit earlier today. Um, I do have something at 5.30, so I am not gonna be able to jump on uh, like previously um, scheduled at six o'clock. So I didn't want you guys to be without Thoughtful Thursday. So I am doing it a little bit earlier. If you are unable to catch the live right now, then you can go ahead and catch the replay. So I'm Ingrid with Creatively Inspired. And if you see the red live button at the left hand top of your screen, that means I am here now. So I will be able to see your comments. Um, if you are watching, you can say hello. If you are looking at the video and that red live button is not there, that means that you are watching the replay. So <clears throat> I will go ahead and respond to your comments as I get notifications. So what I wanna show you guys today is just basic stamping. And I'm gonna show you something very basic and then I'm gonna take that same card and just give it like a little facelift. So we're gonna be working with two stamp sets today. I am going to be using this sunflower and these double leaves from the Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set. And I'm going to be using the sentiment, You Are My Sunshine from the Ridiculously Awesome stamp set. And then the colors that I am going to be using are Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo, and Daffodil Delight. So again, I'm going to show you basic, basic stamping. So that you see, even if you just have a white piece of cardstock, some ink pads and stamps. It's very, very simple to make a basic card, okay? I'm gonna show it to you. No ribbon, no embellishments, no die cuts. This is strictly white cardstock and stamps and ink. That's it. That's all that we're going to use for this card. And then I'm gonna show you how you can take that same card and then spruce it up a bit, okay? So I am starting with basic white cardstock as my card base, okay? There won't be any layering. We're gonna do the stamping directly on the card base, okay? This is the Whisper White cardstock and I did go ahead and score it at four and a quarter and I cut at five and a half, I did use eight and a half by 11 paper. Hi Jackie, how are you? That's perfectly fine if you're just listening while working, that's awesome, you're multitasking Jackie. Thank you for watching. Um, I know you came in a little bit later but I decided to jump on a little bit earlier because I do have something at 5.30 and I didn't wanna let anybody down so uh, I decided let me go ahead and do the live right now and if anything you can go ahead and catch the replay so we're gonna make a basic basic card again for those of you joining in right now um we're just gonna do paper stamp ink that's it okay no embellishments no fussy cutting none of that stuff um all right so i'm gonna start with my sunflower Okay, now because I'm going to be using the small leaves, when I stamp, I'm only going to stamp like half of my flower because I don't want these leaves on my card. And then I am going to be stamping one full color, stamping one, stamp off, and then a lighter uh, color. All right, so I'm gonna ink up again, stamp off, and stamp, okay? Full color, whoops, 
and I messed that one up because I went ahead and um, moved my stamp set. But no worries, we've got another card. And then I'll just cut another card base for the other card that I'm going to show you. So again, stamp full color, stamp off, lighter color, stamp full color, stamp off, light color. So you'll see what, and I did a demo, I just don't want to show it to you yet until you see this one because it came out so, so cute. So again, this is just simple stamping around my card. All right, so that definitely looks like some great sunshine. Okay, now um, since I'm going to be putting my leaves and I'm gonna be stamping off, uh, I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment first so that then I can go ahead and judge where my leaves are going to go. So for my sentiment, I'm going to use Melon Mambo. And it is You Are My sunshine so i inked up and just right in the middle press down and look how vibrant that is i love this color love 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 this melon mambo um color it's so bright and with the sunflowers it just pops i love it so now i'm gonna get my leaves and I'm going to do those in Granny Apple Green. Okay. And again, if you're watching, please say hello. You can hit a like. So I am stamping off a little bit. Because um, I don't want it too dark. But I do want to accent with some leaves. And if you notice, I'm doing it on the flowers um, that I stamped off on and created a lighter color. So there you go, guys. That is the first card. Again, look how beautiful that is with simple stamping. So here is our first card. I mean, I would be so happy if I just received this card in the mail. It's bright, it's colorful, and, <coughs> excuse me, it's beautiful. I love it. It just pops. <clears throat> so again, this was just basic white cardstock, stamps, and ink. So you have a beautiful card that you didn't have to add you don't need to add embellishments or ribbon to or anything like that. So if you are a beginning stamper, this is an easy technique, okay? So we're gonna take this same card and we're gonna spruce it up a bit. Now, because I ruined my other card base, I'm going to get another sheet of whisper White and bear with me. Yes, Jackie, see, it's so easy. Just paper, stamps, and ink. <laughs> and you have a beautiful card to send to somebody. So I'm scoring at four and a quarter, and I am cutting at five and a half. Now I can go ahead and put this card base away because I can use it um, for another card later on. I can get my paper out of my paper trimmer. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and fold my card. And I'm going to use my bone folder. And I am just going to go ahead and make sure that my edges are uh, creased very good. 
So for this one, um, what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and layer and I'm going to use some embellishments and I'm gonna use some ribbon for this card. So what I did was I'm using the same size card base as the first card that I just did, except I'm gonna add a layer and I cut this at four and a half by three and a half. And I'm gonna show you why. I didn't wanna go ahead and just completely cover the edges because we are going to stamp to create a background. And then for my sentiment, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that on this uh, rectangle that I did use the die cut uh, machine. And these rectangles are in the stitched so sweetly um, dies. So what we're gonna do is since we already have our sentiment on the block, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that on first. And there we go. That way we can put that ink away. And I'm just gonna clean my steel. That way I can put my sunflower back on. Okay, so now we're gonna take our card base and the same thing that I did with the flowers over here on this first card that we made, I'm gonna do the same thing on this one, right? So bear with me, because we're taking the same design and then just sprucing it up a bit, okay? with embellishments and ribbon. So we're taking that to the next level. Okay. So here we go. We're still doing the same technique of using one in the dark color and then the other one we stamp off. And the other one is the light color. So we created that background, okay? Now, we're not going to put the leaves on the background because this yellow piece of cardstock is gonna go ahead and cover that, okay? So this yellow piece of cardstock and this is the same as the ink pad which is a daffodil delight okay and i'm just going to put some adhesive <clears throat> forgot I want to put ribbon on here <gasps> almost forgot you guys all right so I'm going to and it's gonna go down the middle of our card so I'm just going to position it here I'm put that ribbon and then I'll just take my paper set here. Now once I have that one, I'm going to go back up here to the front um, and just make sure that it is centered before I go ahead and finalize that back here. So we're going to put some more adhesive just to make sure that it stays and we're going to put that down. Okay, and then this is going to go here, 
but remember those leaves? So we're just gonna put a few leaves, just one on each um, opposite corner, okay? Now, because of the way that my S is all the way over here for the sunshine, I'm gonna do the leaves on this corner over here and on this corner over here, just cause it would fit better, okay? And again, that's gonna go in the granny apple green. So we're gonna ink up our stamp, gonna press off once, and then stamp, and then again, one more time, stamp off, stamp. So you see how pretty that looks? So we took the same design, using the same three inks, using the same three um, stamps, and we just basically embellished our card a bit. Um, let me see, let me get some dimensionals. I thought I had a pack. Um, but I, I'm gonna have to order more dimensionals. I go through these so quickly. So I wanna add some dimension to my sentiment. So, you know, I always say, protect all the corners. <clears throat> and then, of course, the middle, because you don't want it to sink in. So, we're going to take the back off of those. <clears throat> I hope you're all having a great Thursday, which means tomorrow's Friday. Love me some Friday. Now, I am not back to work yet, um, but we just received word that schools are gonna be virtual and our opening date is being pushed back a week just to provide for training and kind of welcome back sessions for parents and students. So I'm kind of looking forward to get back into the swing of things. So here we go. Ah, look how cute that looks. I love it. But I do want to add some embellishments to this because I feel it needs a little bit more. So we're going to add some rhinestones love rhinestones they're so pretty so we're gonna do the smaller ones um gonna put one right here we're gonna get one of these teeny tiny ones i think they look cute when they're just doubled up like that um we're gonna put one right here and let me see Maybe a small one right over here. All right. So look at that, guys. Look how cute this came out. Ah, I love it. So <clears throat> we took same card design, same stamps, same ink. I showed you some basic basic stamping just cardstock stamp ink and then we took this same design and then we just spruced it up a bit so we did the sunflowers we used it the same on the background we just added a yellow uh, daffodil delight three and a half by four and a half and then we stamped our sentiment on a rectangle that I used these stitched so sweetly dies to create this. And then we did our leaves on our sentiment too. We added some ribbon and some embellishments. So this is just to show you basic stamping a little bit more. Either way, whether you are a beginner or whether you have been stamping for a while, same beautiful 
card. I mean, I would just be so happy to receive either one of these cards in the mail. So thank you again for watching. I know I did come on a little bit earlier than I had planned, but I didn't want to leave anybody hanging for Thoughtful Thursday. So I will see you guys on Monday for Maker Monday. If you have any ideas, if there's something that you would love to see, please, please, please just put it in the comments and I will go ahead and take it into my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.